Due to successful conservation, Tembi has an excess of elephants and uh, it is thought to have, has a unique genetic bloodline. Part of the reason why we're moving these elephants is from a genetic point of view. We're taking elephants from, from Tembi Reserve where they've successfully conserved them, they are excess, and we're taking them to Pindagame Reserve uh, where they'll infuse some of this genetics from this park to the existing population of, uh, of elephants. So everyone knows what they've got to do and uh, where they need to be. So you, the vehicle is your point of safety. So if there's anything goes wrong or an elephant comes out of, just get on a vehicle. It's important to note because if it happens, it happens really, really fast and things can go wrong with what you do. So please, please just be mindful, uh, mindful of that. Falling into place, we found the, the um, elephant bulls in the perfect spot. They were also very suitable bulls, it's exactly what uh, they were looking for. So, um, fr from that moment on, I think we were on a winning record. And uh, I think I was most intrigued by the new method of loading them because this is something we've been talking about and we've sort of experimented a little bit in the past, but this is the first time we've actually done it. So, uh, tremendous success. I can just see uh, this kind of operation getting slicker and slicker. The Espinal Foundation has partnered with a number of different organizations to really make this possible. KZ and Wildlife, who are the donors of these elephants, along with the Tembi community, they have also provided the veterinary support for this project and the ground team and the monitors. And it's, it's, a, it's a massive task to look after these elephants. And the, the KZ and Wildlife team has been exceptionally good with that and they've got a very good team. So, you know, it's, it's, it's basically a group effort. None of this can be done by a single entity. And it's critical that, that organizations like ourselves work together going forward. Yeah, one. So far it's gone reasonably well. Uh, yesterday we got two nice young bulls to add to our population in, in Pinda. And uh, today well, the intention was to get a small herd, but the heat got us a little bit in the morning and it got a bit hot so we've had to delay a little bit uh, into the afternoon now. In the Elephant Park is quite a difficult place to catch elephants because of the heat and the sand forest. So the elephants only come out much later in the day. When I say come out, they come out of the bush much later in the day, which, which puts them in areas which are catchable. And what we found yesterday is we spent the whole day just waiting to see if we could find elephants, and we didn't catch anything yesterday. I think we should go and look again in half an hour and just see what other options are. So we've caught the fourth bull for the operation. Uh, magnificent bull, huge tusks, another magnificent candidate for Monyawana and Pinda. Um, we're very happy with the results, he's doing really well. It was a challenge with his breathing, um, but we seem to have resolved that now. He's breathing quite nice and deeply now. And uh, we're on our way to the wake-up box with the other one, and we're going to be loading them together pretty much. Um, so the other bull is really on his way, and uh, yeah, we're going to see where we go. So we find ourselves here now uh, at Pinda Private Game Reserve. It's 43, 44 degrees heat, our brains are frying. But we've just released uh, and uh, two, two of the bulls we caught this morning, magnificent bulls, very successfully, very happy. They've wandered off, I'm sure, to go and find something to drink. Um, and yeah, it's, this is the third day of, of elephant capture. We've, we've managed to catch four bulls. Uh, I'm very happy. Uh, all four bulls are really, really amazing animals and um, we look forward to next week catching the herd, herd that we're looking for. When we want to move a family group of elephants, we make sure that we take the entire group, right from the matriarch down to the smallest animal. We, what we want to ordinarily do is dart the whole group and have them lying in a very tiny space. This just assists with the, with the actual loading process. We want to get them awake and in the box as quickly as possible. The process of catching a family unit is very different to catching bull elephants. The family unit, we actually take the trucks, the, the recovery trucks, into the bush and load them into the recovery trucks in the bush and wake them up right there. But 
it's easier said than done. You know, going to catch elephants in a thick forest reserve with sand roads is tricky. Really, really hard to do. Our days here are filled with challenges. Not easy at all.